Sometimes it'll be necessary to take a vector that's not a unit vector, meaning that it's longer than length one or shorter than length one, and write it as a unit vector, which means scale it either to be shorter or longer than it currently is to where it only has length one. Uh, this process is called normalizing a vector. So that's what that means if you hear that uh, word or somebody ask you to normalize a vector, that's what they're asking you to do. So graphically, it looks something like this. If this is, uh, let's say, a, a vector, we'll call it V. And let's say it's much longer than a unit vector. What we want to do is find a vector that's in this guy's same direction that's only about this long, meaning that that shorter vector is a, a unit vector of length one. So, so now how do we do this? Like if you actually, if I actually handed you a vector, how would you turn it into a unit vector? How would you normalize it? Well, there's a little formula and you probably wanna commit this guy to memory. To get your unit vector, you're gonna take your old vector and divide it by whatever its own magnitude is. So for example, if this long vector had a length of five, you would divide all the components of V by five. And what that does is it scales the vector back without changing the direction and makes it a unit vector. So let's wrap up this video with a quick example. Um, here we've got a vector, we'll call it uh, four comma negative nine. So it goes right four and down nine in component form. And obviously that guy's much longer than a unit vector. Um, so how would you uh, find a vector that's much, much shorter than this guy that goes in the same direction as V. Well, we're gonna use that formula. Uh, the first thing we actually need though is the magnitude of V because that's part of the formula. We need to know how long V actually is. And so we know how to find the magnitude of a vector. We'll take the first component squared, which is 16, plus the second component squared, which is positive 81. We'll add those two guys. We'll get the square root of 97 and I don't think that really simplifies, so we'll just leave it like that. Okay, and that, that's the length of V. That's nine point something. That, that's almost a length of 10. That's way too long. So to get our vector, our unit vector, we'll call it vector U, we're gonna take uh, the vector four comma negative nine, and we're gonna divide all of its components by 90, root 97. Now you can either write this over root 97, which is okay, that's, that's not bad, but a lot of times just to conserve space and just to help it make a little bit more sense, sometimes I'll write one over root 97 out front, because that, again, that's just like dividing by root 97, but that way it's written more like a scalar times a vector or scalar multiplication. And then we're just gonna distribute this guy through, and our final answer for vector u would be four over root 97 comma negative nine over root 97. That seems a little weird, but that these unit vectors often look this way. They often look a little crazy. Um, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I'd encourage you to try it right now at your desk. Try taking the magnitude of u, this new guy that we got right here, and just see if you get the number one. And I'll bet that you do. Uh, this guy should be a unit vector. It's a vector in the same direction as V, but it only has a magnitude of one.